come off. Um, I'm project manager here at Wikitech and I'm just doing a quick introduction uh, to the topic and after that we'll hand it off to Anton. So pretty much imagine that you're a researcher and academic and you're trying to comb through a paper and trying to verify citations. This process is very clunky, uh, prone to human error and depending on how many citations you have, especially if they're a PDF source, it can be a very manual and tedious process. Well, and I'm here to develop the tool that will speed up this process and hopefully make things a lot easier. Thank you, Bill. So, hello, everyone. I'm Anton Brown, a proud Medivity enthusiast since the release 1.13, I, I think, and a semantic technologies engineer at Wikitech. In the absence of more appropriate terms to identify my position, it's truly an honor for me to be here at this conference in the beautiful city of Wien. And this is my first time attending the conference. And first of all, I want to extend my big thanks to the organizers that included users in the conference name. By doing so, you paved the way for many of us who are passionate about finding, finding innovative ways of building knowledge and making it more accessible and structured. Today I want to introduce to you the PDF citation highlighting system using MediaWiki and uh, several external libraries. Uh, another name for this presentation could be how flexible MediaWiki could be can be because it, demonstrate, it demonstrates how MediaWiki uh, uses its power to integrate different technologies uh, to, and how we use these technologies to make citations from the academic PDFs, papers, verifiable in a controlled manner. You know that um, the modern text space is no longer, longer the domain of elites. Once confined to experts and institutions, uh, the creation and dissemination of knowledge is now accessible to all. In today's digital age, everyone is a publisher, an editor and the like. So we, everybody we uh, create knowledge or transmit knowledge. In such a world, uh, the lines between credible sources and unreliable content have become, have, have become increasingly blurry. Uh, the huge volume of information makes it challenging to distinguish truth from misinformation, disinformation or just opinion. So, in this vast sea of information, having critical mind is important. Readers might be equipped with tools and have the imperative to confirm that information is accurate by checking it against the source. Why? Uh, a couple of words why PDFs uh, continue to be the format number one in academic papers. Because they preserve the integrity of the document, ensuring that figures, tables, uh, citations and everything are maintained without distortion. Uh, also, PDFs provide security <coughs> and some additional security to prevent unauthorizing editing of academic content. In other words, I can be confident that the PDF I downloaded today is um, the same as the one of my colleagues downloaded the last week. Uh, Leaving aside additional efforts for repeating the original content on the web page when one is mastering the PDF content in the form of HTML, we can say that HTML, HTML way is not always necessarily content centric. It's not free of clutter and disruptors and put emphasis on elements uh, irrelevant to the academic research, uh, reader workflow and points of interest. For example, I've 
borrowed these two <laughs> images from a blog of one academic guy explaining why he didn't like the HTML uh, representation of uh, scientific work because uh, things are that we as webmasters consider important they don't, you know, they don't need it they want to concentrate on the content okay so and for academic research cit citations is a real backbone because uh, they are to prove that ideas and conclusions are based on existing knowledge I think therefore citations are very popular in Wikipedia and have a great support by media wiki but who can say if the citation itself is accurate, reliable, has valid credentials and right context so an obvious solution is to provide a way to deliver the original text in its original context to the citation node for example, we can take the citation in 44 countries we found evidence of government agency using computational propaganda to shape public attitudes and we and let's verify it against the source it's as easy as one click let me click uh, the reports cyber drops is open and we see the citation we are trying to find is highlighted so we not only uh, found the original PDF document but we save a lot of time looking through we just get the citation in the context and can uh, quickly uh, verify it so you can see it in action uh, the PDF citation highlighter in action it retrieves the PDF it extracts the text it looks for the search button which is the citation text how we achieve that so the core on the media wiki side the core is the template the template collects the URL it can be uh, it can be external URL or a URL of the file uploaded to MediaWiki. Uh, the important uh, thing is that it must be called from MediaWiki from this template to make everything work. Because if you put anything, absolutely anything, to the application, we will talk about it a bit later. So it will return the error page. So we pass the URL, the citation text, and some other details. Uh, the template stores the data in the cargo table and we can see it lead example on the side so the template and you can see uh, the example output it can be inline so we just uh, can, we can just click the link and get the the source for this data for this percentage here uh, or we can bring the text to the wiki page like that so we can play with the output format also the template can recognize whether the file is external <coughs> or internal uploaded to MediaWiki it is documented so it can be used in visual editor and if somebody tries to uh, exploit our system so it will return the error page so what I should mention we can adjust highlight color on flight right in the template uh, for occasions when I don't know if it is applicable to academic <coughs> paper, but to support the 
overall look and feel, or for dark backgrounds, for example, we can adjust the color. Okay, so the template itself and all related media wiki pages are packed <coughs> in the page exchange package. And if you never used it, page exchange is the extension that can install a collection of pages on media wiki. So if you now let's have a quick look at what's happening there. So we created a small Python application that keeps the logic and manages the request and checks uh, each click against the MySQL cargo database. Uh, and if uh, the link is present in the database, it initiates the processing. The processing on PDF side is done using the brilliant PyMU PDF library. <laughs> I understand why they give it another name, sometimes referred to as FITS, to, to save time saying PyMU PDF. And then um, it returns the PDF to the uh, to the browser, so all the pack is equipped with application launch script, which starts the green unicorn server. Uh, this this part is not automated. We use the nginx uh, proxy for career path based routing, but in general it's simple like that. So everything is packed and you will find the link to the repository in the semantic mediality page of this of this talk. So that's it. If you have interested we can go um, to a technical detail or welcome with your questions. Yeah, <coughs> many thanks for this intro. Um, I think it's highly available also in the context of RAC. So if your uh, large language models gives you an answer based on the RAC embedding of PDF, it usually can maybe just show the snippets or um, link at least to the full document. But this would be the best option to actually get proofs of the um, statements that are made by this and mm -hmm. to be pointing to the Text. Uh, yeah. Do you have any activities in this direction? Activities uh, at the moment. This is uh, uh, the last activity uh, I had in this direction. Uh, so uh, this system has a limitation. It must have a direct access to the PDF file. It doesn't work with uh, files uploaded to Google Drive or something. And as always, um, the formatting, although it can recognize uh, the complex PDF formatting, multi column or uh, inserted blocks, but the important thing is that PDF must be uh, created and formatted the standard way. Without, if a designer makes some kind of pictures, you know, for inserting text uh, manually, uh, probably uh, the system can fail. So we expect the text flow to be uh, entire and formatted, formatted uh, using PDF standards. Yeah, thank you. Yes. <laughs> if you have, yeah, of course. But it coordinates in the PDF or hmm? uh, what is the coordination or how do you specify the location in the PDF? Ah, Only by full text or by yes. line numbers? No. <coughs> uh, by text. By text. So the library is able to extract the text. Let's have a quick look at technical details. So we get the PDF stream and before save we don't save the file on the server. 
we operate in memory using fits function. We get the uh, PDF data, search for text pattern, and then uh, uh, the library recognizes the rectangles. You know, these uh, things yeah. that keep the text. So we are looking for text and we pass the page number to make it faster to localize uh, the scope of uh, analysis to a given page and to open the page uh, correctly. So we pass the page explicitly and the text pattern. So it looks for the text pattern on the given page. Yes. So, and if I do not have the page on the also able to uh, I think it will uh, find and highlight the text, but it will not open the uh, scroll to the yeah. as, you, as you see, I had to scroll down a bit. Yeah. There is a zoom parameter that we can play with, but I didn't manage it to perfection, so I didn't understand how it works exactly. But there is uh, uh, the parameter that uh, is promising to open the exact part of the text and zoom back, make it in focus. Maybe yeah. uh, right. yeah. uh, Just so that I grasp the scope of the tool correctly, it is mainly used for curators of information, not for viewers inform of information, right? So it doesn't help me find a citation that I'm not sure is correct. No, but it's just, for just to verify the citation that you already uh, used or data you presented on the wiki. So you can provide the source directions yes. and you can immediately bring it into the citation node yeah. next to the node to verify it. So it will not look for so you, documents. You provide verification, but you don't verify. Uh, if we find the if we find the exact text, we can be sure that it is accurate. Yes. Okay. Thank you. We have to move on. Uh, other questions, please during the break.